Alright guys, we're going to start a new game of My Time at Porsche today. So let's see what we can do. My Time at Porsche is a sort of country life sim. It's sort of in the same vein as like Animal Crossing or um, um, Stardew Valley. Uh, but it's it's quite different. It's not really around, built around farming. It's more about just sort of living. It's The, the main mechanic is a workshop rather than a... Uh, farm, although you can do quite a lot of farming there, so just like the default face. The eye color, I like mine to be a little deeper. I was like, oops. There we go. Uh, let's go back to the hair. So, um, so it's a lot of fun. It is still in early access, so there's they're putting out new content every few weeks, it seems. Um, and so far, they've been pretty good about it. I have played a the first month through, just to sort of get the lay of the land. Uh, I made some mistakes early on that I want to try and remedy, and sort of see how much further I can get going. Uh, and then really just sort of open up and explore. You know, there were some things that I didn't really, didn't really do or try, just because I didn't know about them. And so that's sort of one one of the things we want to take a look at here. Once we get past the first few weeks, though, this will be a, an exploration. One thing I did know is that cutscenes always include photos, so you can't skip the cutscenes if you want to beat the game. And I am a bit of a completionist, so that's something that I'll be doing today. My plan for right now is to stream for about two hours. I'll be doing this as a let's play, which I'll also be uploading. Uh, Presley. Ah, good to see so you. So, if again. at any point Hope you, you uh, want to get caught up, then yeah. I have anyway, the option of doing I'm that. here to show you to your work. I wonder what it's like. I didn't know. Now, now the very first day is is just some dialogue and some cutscenes. You don't actually have much control over character. You get a little bit where you can explore and run. There's one thing you can do though, and that's kick some trees. So we're gonna kick some trees. This is the only thing you can do on the first day that will benefit your character in any way. So we're gonna kick all the trees that we can. There's two of them. Pick them both. We'll kick them until they tell us to stop. Hopefully we'll get some rubber fruits from it. But maybe not. Six. Got six. I can also kick this tree over here. The other trees are all too far away. They don't let us get out to them. Maybe we can get six more rubber fruits. Oh, we leveled up. That's cool. I didn't realize that. We keep leveling up. That's that's an important thing. Maybe. Keep kicking. can exhaust ourselves kicking on the first day, gain a free level. That is wonderful. So we'll just go ahead and do that. It's not like we're using our stamina for anything else. Can't even do anything else. Try and get over to that tree. Tell us not to wander too far. Let's go back and kick this first tree. I didn't wander too far. You wandered too far. You're a jerk. Oh well. We got one level. That'll have to do. And here we are, your workshop. This workshop's a little run down. This place sure boards aren't really straight. I'm surprised that tear. like the <laughs> gate even opens. To be honest. It's okay. Fix it up. Get it nice. Real nice. Now then, here's a letter from your father. Oh. Well, our dad apologizes for being a deadbeat. Here's the but at least he gave us your pod. land and a house. Got it. Tomorrow. Anyway. That's I something, right? Bye, Presley. Thanks for your help. Alright. Well, let's take a look and see what we can do on day two. I think the top oh, priority for day two is to goodness. sort of really just set ourselves up. One of the things is we're going to want to fix those floorboards. That's super important. 
We're also going to want to uh, get set up to have our bronze tools first thing tomorrow, if not tonight. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to need some stone and some wood. There are a couple of things I've learned. Um, really, the first day is all about maximizing stamina and stamina usage. Uh, you're going to need a total of 13 wood and 13 stone in order to get your tools to start. Once you have that, you'll want 10 more stone in order to build your first uh, stone furnace. You can do that right at the start of the game. You will have enough resources to get your builder's license straight away. And that is a big victory, because that gives us some extra stamina. Let's make up our, our axe and our pickaxe. Love it, love it. Uh, now we're going to need 10 wood and 10 stone. Just 5 stone. That's what we needed there. Um, opening chests doesn't cost stamina, so that's always fun. I need one more tree. And you want to try and use as little stamina as possible in the early part. There's a reason for that. Um, and that's the, what we're going to do, one of the things we're going to do, is we're going to be building some furniture that we'll place in our house. And as we add that furniture, we'll grant us stamina uh, in accordance with how much we have. So if we have 50% of our maximum stamina, then when we place the uh, Builder's License, which grants 20 stamina, we'll gain 10 of that, uh, because that's 50%. So that's one of the things that we'll be making a point of doing today. The other things we'll be doing are getting some mining to make sure we have enough ore for the materials to make our weapons and tools, um, or at least get started. Uh, and running around the town gathering up things from chests because we're going to need upgrade kits. And upgrade kits cost money. So let's go see what uh, what Higgins has been working on. It's a fun tip. And steal from Higgins. He's got a bronze bar. You steal from him while he's standing there. He gets angry. And he fights you. That's okay. I don't really care. He's going to kick my butt probably. He's a pretty good fighter. Some of the people in the town... Yeah, are not very good fighters. Yeah, but that's okay. Joke's on him, because guess what? I still have the bronze bar. It's lovely. All right, let's go uh, up some of this uh, stuff in chests that we find laying around town. So we've got a couple of apricot juice. There are two marble behind the schoolhouse there. I don't really think we need marble. I don't think it's worth the time to gather that straight away. There are a few more chests that we're skipping for the same reason. Uh, but we are going to take a path that's, that's pretty well optimized to get some of the more important or more valuable ones. Uh, so we'll run up this hill here, and then we jump down and grab this chest. And then we jump down, and we grab this chest. And then we jump down, and we grab this chest. That's a nice little chunk of uh, stuff that we can get those chests for free. If we run around behind the mayor's house, we'll find another chest. That's always a nice find. We've got some copper wire. It's worth a little bit. What we can do is head on down to... Uh, Hey there, first time? Yep. Alrighty, let me explain. When you enter, this one beside me. Okay, I'm done. We're gonna do just a little bit of mining real quick um, in order to make sure we've got what we need for our um, furnaces to make the bars we'll need to upgrade our tools. So since we got one bronze bar, we need to do four more. Bronze bar takes four copper, so we're gonna need 16 for that. 
We're also going to want a couple of copper bars. Those are three each. So we'll go ahead and mine out about 20 copper. That reminds me, we can level up our skills to gain some more points. So we're going to be doing some mining and some wood cutting. We'll put a point in each. That'll save some stamina. Now we can head into... Uh, one fun tip when you're mining is that the location of the hit is always the center of the circle. So if you're mining alongside something where it's you know, close to copper and close to uh, stone, then if you aim at the copper, you'll get copper. And if you aim at the stone, you'll get stone. So you can sort of decide what you want and really maximize what you get out of the little patches of copper and stone that you find laying around. There's another chest right there, buried in those rocks. Gives us some money. Money's nice. There's another chest with some salad dressing. And another chest over here on the wall. Alright, maybe that's the episode. So this is the salad dressing. There you go. There's a couple more chests up on the wall there. I haven't figured out how to get those yet. I'm sure there's a way. And now, I'm going to talk to... Presley. Nice to see you. And get our builder's license. In? Great. We're doing very well, Presley. Let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild. We're the organization. Now then, let me give you... You need to have wood and st after you have the raw material. Ah! Excellent! Right, we made our pickaxe and axe. Lovely. Great job. We made a stone furnace. This is your... Now you just need to take this comeback... We got a builder's license. Hooray. Now we need to register the builder's license. This is an easy thing to do. You just go talk to the mayor next door. It's a pretty friendly guy. There are a couple more chests we could get. There's a chest behind the, uh, the... Welcome, welcome! I'm here to register my workshop. A uh, commerce skill that has a painting. Um... Nice name! Thank you. Also... Right. Um, but the painting is unique, so I have... Uh, I think I, I think I've elected to decide on this playthrough. I'm not gonna go get the painting and uh, sell it. It's worth quite a lot of gold, but the uh, fact that we can't ever replace it if we sell it is kind of stinky. And I'm I'm a bit of a completionist, so we're gonna try and get uh, as much as we can. It's Presley, he's happy to uh, You're now a see us in here. He's gonna give us another uh, other workshops and oh yes, adding your photo. once you're done with your orders, you anyway. Since this is your first commission, I've kept one just for you. Oh, Higgins, the bad guy. Higgins, you already took one. I don't like this guy. He beat me up earlier. Good day. That runt. I mean, I was he's stealing the owner from of the him. current number one workshop. That's okay. Brilliant businessman, but I don't like the way he does. Things. I was a well, little slow getting I'm over sorry. to Higgins' workshop. If you get there before today. nine o'clock, hey, press. Then, uh, have a job for you. Or uh, not. Be able to steal without fighting him. What is it, Arlo? Which is really what you want to do. That was that was a mistake on my part. Yeah, you figured that's okay. Check your pa's workshop. You don't really have also, ex mistakes here. Just happy accidents, right? Okay, now we can come over here and get some commissions. Eight charcoal, that'll be a little tough. Two water tanks will also be tough. Two copper plates will also be tough. Three, tal so three talismans we can definitely handle. Generally, we want to pick commissions that you can get in a day. At the beginning of that game, at the beginning of the game, that usually means to sticking uh, with easier commissions. All right, let's head over to the restaurant and buy our food for the day. Uh, while we're here, we can sell our salad dressing. Uh, Fifteen. Stamina. Second. Actually, we may want to eat that salad dressing. We don't want to eat the apple, though. The apple is definitely not worth it. So next time. We'll go ahead and sell our salad dressings because we're going to want the money from that to build our upgrade tools. So we're going to go ahead and get some shrimp cocktails there. And we'll go ahead and eat the rest of our food. 
A lot of people recommend saving food until you're a little later in the game. I don't think that's strictly necessary. Another chest over on watch there. Is this it? Is this how you get the stuff on the wall over here? Yes, look at that. It's wonderful. We got a chest, and it's one of the talismans we need. That'll save us a little bit of money. Talismans take some marble and some stone. And so not having to mine up that marble would be a big help. There's another chest up here. So it's nice to have. I want a flying leap over on there. I got that chest as well. It's a good first set of chests. Run over and sell some stuff. Different shops will buy different things. So if we want to sell this herbal mixture, which isn't very good. Uh, we can sell that right there. Come over to Best Brother and sell some of this other stuff. So we can sell our colorful fur and our bloodstones that we picked up. And our copper wires. These are things that we'll eventually want, but not yet. Also sell. And then we can head on over to Total Tools and pick up our kit. We're about 64 gold short. A second upgrade kit. That might be something we work towards today. Maybe not. We'll see. Now how we spend the rest of the day is really up to us. Um, obviously we want to be maximizing things. Uh, part of that is, is going to mean we're going to have to uh, be smelting. So we're probably going to be gathering some materials in order to build a second furnace and get, get uh, that going. We'll go ahead and get started on that straight away. So we've got our furnace down, we'll add some fuel to it. We only have one wood right now, that's okay. Let's go ahead and start on a copper bar. So we'll need to add some more wood here in the next hour or so, that's okay. Before we do that, this is why we ate our stamina stuff already, is we're going to hang our builder's license. Builder's license grants us extra stamina. So by having some stamina there, in a little bit extra. Let's go gather up some wood. I'm sure we have enough to keep our furnace going for the next two and a half hours. Then we'll switch it over to uh, So now we're gonna need some more wood. We're gonna be doing a lot of wood chopping today, I think. That's fine. Head on up to the farm store. I think I've decided that I want to do a little bit of fishing tonight. So we're going to head up to the farm store uh, and buy some bait. This will make it really nice and easy to get some money for the morning. Because fishing is such a profitable venture. It's also why we're crafting that copper bar first. Sophie's Ranch. And here, we're going to buy some editors. Let's buy 15 caterpillars, 60 gold. Just spent 60 gold on caterpillars. That's what we need to make back from fishing in order to break even. We'll have 15 casts to do it. I think we can finish. Let's head down and chop some more wood. It's starting to get dark, but it turns out the day, or the night, is almost as long as the day in this game. We can work all the way up until 3 a.m., and there's no penalty right now for staying out late. That's something I kind of hope they fix before game goes full access, it almost feels like cheating to work all the way into the night, and there's not really any reason not to, which uh, just feels a little imbalanced, but let me take advantage of it while we can, I guess, right? So let's gather up some more wood, because we're going to need lots of wood. Let's head over and find some stones to mine as well, because we're going to be wanting to build a second furnace. Some stones to mine. I think we're probably going to want a little more for those talismans. Let's go ahead and get that second furnace built. Let's start it on some bronze bars. To need a stone stool. We're going to come on over here and set up another stone furnace. Stone furnace takes...
Let's get started on some bronze bars. We already have two. Or we already have one from stealing it. So we can go ahead and start on the second. Or on two, four more. Which will give us what we need to upgrade all of our tools. So we'll craft two more of those. We're going to need to refill this one up to seven hours as well. So we currently have an hour and a half, so we're going to need six. That should give us our tools. Unfortunately, those won't finish until uh, morning time, so I will just sort of have to go without for now. Now, in order to go fishing, we need to get some chores done around the house first, uh, the most important of which is repairing our house. That'll take 36 wood, I believe, so we'll chop a little bit more wood. We're also going to need to build a fishing rod, which takes a couple of... things you can do if you have a little bit of extra time is you can actually uh, go into the town or build a stone stool and sit on it. Every five seconds you sit, you recover one stamina. It's not very much, but especially on something like the first day, you don't necessarily have a ton to do. Uh, you know, once we run out of stamina, we're literally just waiting. Uh, then we can use that to gain a little bit extra Maybe chop down one more tree, or mine one more rock, or, or do one more uh, cast of fishing. Alright, we fixed our house. It's almost 9 o'clock, so we're making really good time. Actually, we'll have more time than we are able to use to fish. Let's go ahead and craft a fishing rod. How are we doing? So we've got a fair bit of space. I think we're probably okay. We're probably so we can go fishing. Sort of maximize what we're able to do down there. Oops, let's go ahead and take our fishing rod, place it on our bars. Um, I'm actually going to sort my bars out a bit. I like my weapon on one, my axe on two, my on three, and my fishing rod on four. I don't often carry the fishing rod, uh, mostly because I'm so busy in the days that I don't often have time to go fishing. Uh, and to maximize use of the inventory, you sort of leave it in storage at home. We'll build some storage containers tomorrow. They cost quite a lot of wood, and gathering wood will be much better once we have bronze axe. Alright, so let's go fishing. I really like the fishing minigame in this one. It's, it's quite well done. It's challenging enough. It's also rewarding. So we'd spent... 60 goal on worms, that fish was worth 75, so I think we've made our money back. Another fish worth 30, so we're up to 105. Catfish. It's an emperor catfish, so that's 160 for 165. Just keeping a running total here. We have a rusty iron pipe, it's worth 4. Great. Another catfish. So that's 199. Catfish. Never have too many catfish. 229 now. Pushing a bit more. 259. Another catfish. 189. I think we're definitely gonna run out of stamina before we run out of bait. That's okay. some bait for tomorrow. I lost track of what we were. That's okay. I'll be able to tell later here. Now we're just catching all the catfish. I was hoping for more emperor catfish, or more frogfish, or even a, a very rare case, an emperor frogfish, which is worth at least 150 gold. It's the most profitable fish you can catch out of this particular pool. There's also a quest that you can start by fishing, I happen to discover. 
It's good for a quick 200 gold. Alright, a fish. I don't think this one's an emperor, but we'll find out. Just a regular frogfish. There's the golden ring, that's for the quest. So that'll be a nice easy 200 gold there. Alright, and now we're out of stamina. That's fine. We'll kill some llamas tomorrow. They're pretty llamas, but they're evil. Look into their eyes. They're evil, soulless eyes, blood red, blood of their victims, no doubt. Some herbs. That turns out we ran out of bait exactly as we ran out of stamina. I plant that. It was wonderful. Alright, we've got our first copper bars done. The other two will finish, it looks like. Uh, just in time for us to take them tonight, but since we don't have a second upgrade kit, we won't be able to use them. That's okay. Go ahead and get our bronze axe. The cool thing about the bronze axe is that it can chop down some small trees in one hit, if you have enough stamina to swing it at all. I do not. That's okay. We forgot to check our mail today. It's from the newspaper. They want us to pay attention to what they say on the first day of each month. That's nice of them. Well, let's go to bed. I'm gonna go ahead and take a short break here. Uh, start the next day. <laughs>